that fear of death, that the fear of rejection, the fear of feeling like you just don't fit in. not perfect, nor do I seek to be. I may not need to be accepted, nor do I seek to be. I may not need validation, nor do I seek to see. I simply seek to be and live life to serve humanity, to submit to being oneself, and that's enough for me. Our movement supports mental health awareness, addictions, suicide prevention and spiritual crisis and awakenings. We challenge you to shave your hair instead and stay on earth. Existence merits your presence. The power of meditation leads to the reality of life and evolution. To know you're an atom. Evolve your consciousness to zero point. Recognizing you're no self. You're nobody a world grasping to be somebody, becoming nobody, to know you're the universe and the God within. You're the author of your story in a realm of energy, motion, and consciousness. Do not opt out. Shave your hair to start a new you in a world where you feel unseen and unheard. I challenge you to shave your hair instead and stay in the game of life. I'm honored to see you when you could not. No, I am you, and you are I. We are one. I love you for you. I shave my hair today to acknowledge your life on earth. No suicide. We are by your side. <laughs> We would like for you to join our movement and we are shaving our hair as a part of a mental health addictions 
spiritual crisis and awakenings and suicide prevention. And if you don't have hair and you want to support our movement, uh, please go ahead and purchase our book. It's on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. The reason for our movement is to not only prevent suicide, but actually uh, by you purchasing the book, you're providing assistance to us to be able to provide services to those that are in need and cannot afford it. And we're able to provide counseling services through our book sales. And we greatly appreciate if you can assist us in that movement. And at this time, I'm getting prepared to shave my head live in order to start this movement. <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm going for it. There's scissors up on the top over there. Up on the top of the oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Am I going this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I want. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this works. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. But it works. This definitely works. There's no turning back. What it works when you do with this, the other thing that's still. <laughs> I think Eric's gonna have that nest after all. <laughs> is coming off it's literally coming off like it's perfect now wow. <laughs> you're like <laughs> <laughs> it's funny my sister would have been loving this well you actually have a really nice head oh well i have one scar i see it In a pretty full spot, it's almost like a part. It's kind of cool, actually. And, um, <laughs> nobody can remake this. <laughs> <to> <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody can do this duet. But they can de definitely try. Because I look like Ralph Crandall. <laughs> Let me see. Russell, what's his name? Russell. Russell Crandall. Is there any way that you can grab this here, what's there, and just put it in one area? Maybe yeah. it's, it's feeling good, it's coming, it's feeling great. Um, it's hilarious. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, grab what you can. <laughs> can, you actually, can. Can I cut? Um, yeah, I mean, you can try, but yeah, I mean, just be careful with my head. Seriously, I, after I cut my ear off, I don't trust anybody. And let me turn this off for battery purposes. <laughs> it's hard, right? Mm -hmm. Eric, here. Oh, your mess. that's right, Eric. Oh, yeah. Put it in the bag for Eric. Does <laughs> <Is> he want? <laughs> have the thing yeah oh my I god that's I what look. okay so i'm gonna proceed for now no yeah but now we're oh! i don't know that's gap i told you about <laughs> remember i told you i have like yeah I'm not, i wasn't kidding i, I yeah i got my scalp yeah, it, it, it's all... mm. but i already know and it'll heal it's fine i'm already aware but it was painful, so I have to. When I, you know what? When we go back there, I'll, I'll deal with that back there. Um, yeah, let's take this off. This is priceless, my challenge. Um, uh, where is it at? Just not right in the middle. It's because I scratched so bad. Let me see your hand. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of it there. Sangrando, no. No. Okay. I just want to put my finger there for now, just till we finish. So I don't hurt myself again does that hurt yeah yeah because I, I guess I went right over it and I wasn't conscious about it so it's not like I could be careful right if you're careful and you know then you go slower I was just going a little too fast <laughs> do you want to cut this messed up for uh for Eric actually I think that you can keep going if you go all the way down it might just release it so. yeah okay yeah. I mean, it definitely works. It's definitely helpful. Yeah, pull them back. Can you pull my hair all the way back now? Oh, this is a pretty cool picture. Oh, really? Maybe get a picture of the bird's nest. That Eric wants. Okay. I wonder if I can go over it now. I mean, I'm aware of it. Maybe I can. All right. Oh my God, the hair is gonna be gone. I don't think I can get that little piece there. Um, yeah. Is it falling? It is. It's all detaching itself. <laughs> That's funny. You want me? Let me know when you want me to step on. I don't know. I think we're almost there, right? Yeah. That's it. You just have a couple of I mean, It just hurts a little bit because they're like pulling, right? Okay. okay. This is it. Say bye. Wow. Holy gosh. <laughs> bye. I love you, bye. There's the bird's nest. Oh my.
my god, it feels so good. Alright, um... Can I do this part? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just just be careful with that middle part where it hurts. Where it, I guess because I was doing it. So. Um, yeah, please get it all fixed now. Perfect, thank you. So exciting, thank you. Thank you so much for yeah. being here. I appreciate you inviting me to this venture. Thank you. I appreciate you. I know from the minute that you told me about it in May. Oh my God, it's like way back, well March. Right? March? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I really like the way that little area looked. Huh? The area there that it was like kind of taped around your ear. Oh, really? I like the way it looked. It was like a lining. Oh my god, it was like priceless, wasn't it? The whole thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, here I go. I'm going over the tender spot. Right. Let me know yeah, just, just go slow and then it'll be fine. I think it's porque me cogí una cascarita. Yeah, so this is pretty bald. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. I'm still thinking about the number one. Are you? I so, think so. Well, I didn't go with it right. I just went straight. Well, you started going with the number one and a half, but it got caught in the. Yeah, but I, right. I didn't, and I, I, I kind of knew that it wasn't the one. Okay. I don't know. Because it wasn't doing what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's funny. And yeah. Is it coming off nicely? Like no, not, mean not nicely. Like um not spotted, you know, like you're getting all of it out then. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm working on, getting the ones that were chunky. Yeah. Okay. I can't promise you that I'm a pro at this, but I'm no, doing but the you, best that I can. Yeah, just, well, as long as you get the back good, because I can do the front, right? Mm -hmm. So I almost feel like if I go with a longer number, it might be a little bit more challenging to tape it up. Am I hurting you? No. Wait, what do you mean to tape it up? To taper? Like, like to, to, to shape it? it? To even it out. Because you're shaping it, right? Well, like, let's say, okay, this is a zero, right? I go with a number one, the hair is going to be a little bit longer. So it's going to need some work around these areas. Oh, uh, okay. See, yeah, I don't need anything because mine's just gone. So it's nice. Like relax, no worries. Finally got rid of that problem. It's like so liberating and just freedom. relaxing and freedom. Yeah, there's a sense of freedom. So the whole concept is shave your hair and keep your life, you know? Don't give up, don't end your life. Just shave your hair instead. What do you think is the most liberating part of this? The weight that was on my head mm -hmm. is, is literally like gone. I'm not kidding. That feels nice. And also, um, once I cut my, my robot, I'm definitely gonna feel fantastic. I think I got it. Yes, yeah, so let's do it and then we'll go to, okay. to I you. I think I got it. Let me see your brush so that I can get all the stuff off of you the best that we can. Okay. Yes, on. please. Oh, you have it? Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Just throw it on the floor or whatever the best we can just so I can fix the floor after, okay? For sure. Okay. Awesome. So. Alright, so. Everything good. Um, you probably can you brush the hair? Oh no, that's too much. So that's not good. You, you gotta because put I, a long hair here. Oh, okay. 
Let's you see. know, have to take a shower and everything after, yeah. So yeah, I was thinking about my friend Angel that took his life in 2005. Mm, yes. And I said a little prayer and a dedication to him and anybody else out there that might be thinking that Yes, I like the dedication because that's like Sorry. one of the things actually that I wanted to do was dedicate it to my friend Connell and people that have lost their lives, right? Mm -hmm. And just not just people, but friends, family, people that really have touched my heart with mental health, uh, depression, schizophrenia, addictions, and of course, suicide. Oh. Yeah. And the spiritual awakening crisis is very real as well, because when you're going through a spiritual crisis, it's just as, as difficult as going through those other obstacles. If, for example, if you're depressed or you're anxious or you're suffering, you're struggling with the same concepts, except that you're spiritually Elevating to another level, and that's very difficult as well. Yeah. And so, many people might not realize that spirituality can also increase the chances of someone taking their life. And what aspects are you saying that it, um, as far as them having hope or faith in something? Not, I mean, not necessarily, but just um, when you're going through the changes, you go through a lot of changes alone and by yourself. So you're, you're constantly evolving and you're constantly questioning life and the existence of life. And why do you merit being here? And what is your reason for being here or having a purpose of some sort? Okay. And when you find yourself not knowing a direction or where you're going it almost feels like you want to give up. So it, it's just as frightening for someone that's spiritually so wonderful and, oh, yes, we're so great. Uh, mm -hmm. No, we're just as human as everybody else going through a spiritual awakening or a crisis even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty serious in every way that you look at it. And every way that you can possibly think about how life is so important and how significant you are. And at the same time, how you can become so uncomfortable in your own skin that you just want to exit. And it takes a lot of grounding and discipline and perseverance to actually stay in the game of life well and it's not even really a game it's a mission and to to accomplish a mission you have to face yourself to go within to go without and and also seek outside and then the inside to actually know that the outside is not going to give you any kind of reward and so facing yourself and going within can be very painful because it can be very lonely yeah and scary you could see that i can see why other people would lean on substances to mask mm. that loneliness yes absolutely yeah and so the loneliness is something that people really got to work through to actually come to terms with the fact that, I know, it sounds like, yeah, yeah, no, it's real. As if somehow you manage to learn that that loneliness can be fulfilled without external presence, without external substances, activities, all the things that you could think of that we externally look for, right? Mm -hmm. But in essence, if we turn within and we face our fears and our darkest sides, that side of you, that, that fear of death, that fear of loneliness, the fear of rejection, the fear of feeling like you just don't fit in, 
the more you face those fears, the more you start to feel a sense of ease and release that it's okay, even when it's not okay. So what do you think some people can do to get over the biggest challenges to actually face it? Well, my biggest thing is that I love to say is sit in it, sit in it. You have to sit in it. And so sitting in it really defines sitting in meditation, sitting by yourself, doing a healing session. And, and when the feelings and the thoughts arise, you basically face them by sitting in them. And sitting in them means that you cry, you feel sad, whatever your process is. I don't use the word depression because it doesn't fit in my category or my way of thinking, but I have been there and that's okay. And it's how long you drag it out, right? So how long do you drag this depression out? Is it a day? Is it two days, three days, three weeks, three years? That's when you really start to, to acknowledge and, and know if you're really in a severe depression, then please, yes, get the help that you need to get. Because someone could very well assist you along your path to help you feel better. Now, if you know that you're strong-minded and you're determined and you know that these feelings pass and that you're going to sit in your fear and your worries and your, your sadness and you go through it and you know at the end of the day that you're going to heal yourself from it because you've already turned inward to learn how to heal, then you know that you can sit in it. And so sitting in it means that you sit in the moment and go through the emotions and you heal yourself because we have the power to heal ourselves. The power is all within. There is no one outside that's going to fulfill any of these needs. Sure, they can assist you. They can definitely have an influence and contribute to your well-being. There is no doubt. However, at the end of the day, ultimately you're responsible. So you're the one that can really change and shift your mindset. And this can be very rewarding, even in the midst of the scariest things that you can ever think of. What about people that just can't even think to how to help themselves? What do you recommend? If they're stuck in the cycle of repetition and they keep doing the same thing over and over, I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite difficult for them to do it by themselves. So my suggestion and my recommendation is that they do seek outside help because this will provide a light of sort. And when we get someone from outside giving us information or healing that we need and desire, this can bring us to an understanding of actually changing the way we think. And so habitual patterns are rooted inside the dirt, inside the ground. And so as the tree keeps growing, they're in all the roots, all the leaves, everything that you already have. And in order for you to change your roots and the way you think, you have to want to change your habitual patterns to a point that you're just so tired and not just sick and tired of being sick and tired, literally tired of just being exhausted. Only then you'll look to change. And if you don't have anyone that supports you 
and you feel alone and, and you search and search, but you just don't feel like you're being accommodated in any sense of well-being to your heart, mind, and soul, then I would really, really suggest meditation because meditation is, is not just an outlet to, to, to ground you, but also an outlet that makes you turn within. Again, that turning within could be very difficult, but and there's a but is that the gratification that you receive from it doesn't happen overnight, but if you continue to, to meditate, then your brain structure is going to start to change and the way you think and how your habitual patterns are, you will learn to eliminate the negative thoughts. And so it's not about just eliminating the negative thoughts. It's about coexisting with them. So what does that mean? That means that if you have a negative thought and you shed light on it, so it's the dark side of you and the light side of you, and then you have darkness and you have light, and you have to learn how to merge and dually integrate your way of thinking. And as humans, we naturally have a negative side and a positive side, and what people try to do is run from it. And so there's a resistance. If you're trying to block out negative thoughts, negative people, oh, you're too negative, I don't wanna be around you. Well, that's what you're going to continue to receive. The, the master piece to life is actually merging both and becoming the observer of these thoughts and not gathering anything and literally just learning how to observe people and their behaviors without getting attached to it. You ready, ready for confetti? I am ready for my transformation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. We now welcome our guest of honor that will be following the movement and showing us the way. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste. Okay. Hey, we're letting go. Letting go, Mama. Letting, letting go. go. Letting God. Letting go. Letting life. Letting go and letting love. Go. So good. I feel so good, I promise. You feel like totally I'm like, gonna change my mind. Letting go. <laughs> you all. So good. Yeah, you're doing great.
This is a suicide prevention shave your hair movement that we are starting. Please like so we know that you like what we're doing and what we're creating a change in the world to assist in preventing suicide and mental health addictions and spiritual crisis. For being here, we truly appreciate you. Shave your hair, save a life. Okay, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> wow. A lot of hair. Okay. All right. Definitely a lot of hair. Okay. Let's see. You have your glasses? Yes. <laughs> oh, we are doing it. It took us so long to get to this movement. We are really working at making a change in the world. We suggest that you shave your hair instead of take your life. It will make you feel better and you'll change your life by starting fresh and letting go of all the fears and the inhibitions of life and the demands of life and what you need to do, what you shouldn't do, how you will be accepted. And so at this point, you can see that we're not concerned about how you feel about how we look, which is what we want to create a sense of belonging and confidence. I think you forgot that you were doing three. Um. <laughs> It's too late now. <laughs> Do you want to put it back? Do you want to put it back? No, I can't get a three out of this now. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh my god, I just realized. I'm like, I think she forgot. Well, I just dove right in. I was like, you yeah, know you what? Did. I'm not wasting any time. You sure did. You forgot all about it. That was funny. No, I actually saw the one and a half there. And oh, you did? second, I was like, hmm. Oh, you see? But, you decided to go all the way to Yeah, okay. I just figured it would be easier. Okay. Like I decided it's gonna be easier. Okay. Well, now you're all ready for Buddha now. <laughs> Which I didn't expect. I thought you were leaving somehow. Well, there's nothing to see for it. <laughs> oh. Good job, girl. I'm so proud of you, really. This is a big deal. Thank you. Definitely a big deal. Oh my god, right? Mm-hmm. It's a big deal. Especially when, like, seriously, we just didn't want to let go of our hair. <laughs> we didn't want to let go of anything, right? Well, I think that letting go is a part of life, right? We're ever yes. changing beings and things change all the time, so we can just let go. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Somebody what? wrote full moon. <laughs> <laughs> what? Somebody wrote full moon. Full moon. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That is definitely. a full. It's definitely. We're a little bit early because I think it's on the eighth. Oh, okay. So we're three days she, early. She knows when the full moon's coming, so. Yeah. That's funny. Well, it could be a full moon. 
But really, it's a suicide prevention movement. And we have decided to shave our hair as a movement to support those suffering throughout the world. As a way of saying, shave your hair instead and stay on earth. So don't give up when things are tough and life is hard. Shave your hair instead. All right, I think we got like pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. No little pelitos? That's what I'm looking for. By my ears? Mm, I already said. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for being with us today. Yes. yes. <laughs> now we're the sisters of baldness. <laughs> mm. Namaste. Namaste. Okay, so that was fun. Yeah. And it definitely beats being depressed or giving up. Definitely beats any of that. And this is a reason to do this. Just seems more fun and more practical, really. It's more practical. Might not be practical to most, but uh, I think it's practical to us. And we're definitely praying that you also join our movement. And we will be having a video and we will be requesting duets. And that will be super fun. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that was fun. All right. So I think that's it. We're gonna be closing our movement in a minute. And then let me just end with a little meditation. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha.